Pakalopa Lahiatu, Tena Kauto. Acknowledgements to the peoples whose land we're on, the Garagal people of the Eora Nation, and thank you to Uncle Bernie before for his um, welcome to us. Ngā mihi ki ngā mana whenua, and peace to all who have passed. Ko Lisa Mall, tōku ingoa. My name is Lisa Mall. I'm the initiator of the Pacifica Arts Wikipedia project. Uh, my name is Sophia. I was on the Pacifica Arts Board Wiki project with Lisa, teaching me. Lisa is going to talk about the project background, purpose, and structure. I'm going to talk about how it was being pro oh, sorry, how it was being in the project. So the um, Wikipedia Pacifica Arts project um, created articles, uploaded images, and let people. Um, in Pacifica communities know about Wikipedia. <clears throat> it was based in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> so these are three um, beautiful smiling faces and images of Pacifica artists that were uploaded as part of the project. And um, if you can go to the next slide, please. This is a list of the articles that we created as the part of the project. Some I created and some by other people um, working in it. The project page is live and um, you can join in and add some articles and improvements too. There's red links and re reference material um, and it's linked to the Wikipedia Project New Zealand page. Um, so there have been some nice outcomes apart from the articles. Uh, there's also like a reporter from Radio New Zealand asked me to pass on some thanks to the editor of the Amaki, Amanaki Prescott Fellow Toe article because she enjoyed reading it before she interviewed Amanaki. So um, a little bit of a background on me and where the project came from. Next slide, please, yeah. Um, this photo is from near my house where I live and also where I grew up, the hilly suburb of Karori, Te Whanganui Atara, Wellington. My mother is English, a Londoner. My dad was born in Wellington and both his parents were born in Scotland. My parents met when they were both traveling in Europe. They got married and came to Wellington to live. My mum was an art teacher, so we always saw exhibitions and talked about art and artists. I work in performing arts. Um, in my early 20s, I was studying art history and design and working as a technician and lighting operator in fringe theatre. This was the 1990s. It was an exciting time for theatre in Wellington. I spent a lot of time at Takirua Theatre as it was developing a bicultural and then a Māori kaupapa and foundation. I was part of feminist and queer theatre projects. I worked with Red Mole, a poetic political cabaret. I ended up being a lighting designer, um, which so suits both my technical and creative sides. I'm currently a producer making projects happen with Te Rākauhua or Te Waotapu, a Māori theatre company. The first Wikipedia edit I made was in November 2019. Um, this is a photograph of the Daos Art Museum, who, who hosted an edit-a-thon um, focused on Māori women artists. I wanted to know more about the artists and also to address the bias that sees women and Indigenous people less represented in English Wikipedia. Um, the rage of under-representation is a strong motivator for me. Um, one artist on the editathon list was Roma Potiki. Her theatre company, Tiara Ho, performed at Takirua, and I knew Roma from when her theatre company went to the Adelaide Festival with three other theatre companies in 1992. I was doing the lighting for two of the other groups. I tried to expand Roma's article, and I discovered there was just absolutely nothing to link to. The venues, the companies, the plays, the key collaborative key creative collaborators also did not have articles in Wikipedia. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of like single-handedly decided that I would change that. Um, I had a good introduction to how to edit at the workshop that was led by Mike Dickerson, which is, who's here today. And um, Alex Lum happened to be there as well in Wellington. I'm not sure why, but he was at the Editathon. Um, uh, it seemed like a nice bunch of people. I was motivated to keep editing. Um, I asked the nice bunch of people for help and turned up to some face-to-face -face meetings at a Wellington library. I got a lot of great support in those early um, days of me and weeks of, and months of me kind of learning Wikipedia. Um, 
and we moved online for some meetings too. And I've got a screen grab of an online meeting in 2020. Um, Margaret and Annie, who are here from Australia, were also with us at that meeting. Uh, so after a year of expanding performing arts articles by myself, I realised grants existed and I had time for a project. I successfully applied to the Wikimedia Foundation for the Performing Arts Aotearoa project. This was four months and three edit in 2021. At a debrief with Jacqueline Chen from the Wikimedia Foundation, I made a connection between the ESAP region and the many countries of the Pacifica diaspora. I knew some Pacifica theatre artists, and I knew there was a strong interlinked Pacifica community between art forms, between artists, and between their families living in Aotearoa, and also their families living back in the islands. I wondered if there were any Pacifica Wikipedians. I wondered if there was any interest for Wikipedia to be a place for Pacifica information. I approached Makarita Urali, the Pacific Arts Manager at New Zealand's national funding body, Creative New Zealand, with an idea for a project to expand articles relating to their annual Arts Pacifica Awards. When I looked at that page, there was a lot of red links of uh, many notable artists. She, uh, Makarita knew about Wikipedia because she'd also been to an editathon at the Douse Art Museum a few, uh, maybe a year or so before I joined it. She also knew me back from Takirua. Um, I described a Wikipedian in residence program to her that would teach three Pacifica people how to edit Wikipedia by creating new articles. In my probably awkward Pākehā white New Zealander way, I was trying to propose a pathway for Pacifica people to be creating content on Wikipedia about Pacifica people. To work myself out of the picture is the goal. Um, to resonate with a statement from the disability community, nothing about us without us. My performing arts um, wiki project had target. My performing arts wiki project had targets for BIPOC representation, and I know there's a pol there's politics of white people writing and researching about brown people, including well-meaning old white women like me. Um, I have read Linda Tuhi Weissmith's decolonising methodologies. Makarita backed the project as a Creative New Zealand Wikipedian in residence with investment funding from their digital Moana program, and we sought three people to come on board. Um, so these are the three who came on board, Sophia and, um, yeah, so Sophia and Cassie with their sort of arty profile shots, and then Leilani with her computer selfie. Um, Sophia had just finished a Tautai Oceania internship organised by Creative New Zealand and was, had been mentored by Makarita. Um, the two other people were recommended through my performing arts network. Kasi Valu was a third year acting student at Toifakati, the New Zealand Drama School, and he'd, he's just actually graduated. He was recommended by choreographer and producer Tupe Lua Lua, who I knew from a play we'd both worked on with the Fijian New Zealand theatre company, The Conch. The third person was recommended by people I knew in the company Pacific Underground. They knew I did Wikipedia because I had asked them if they were okay as Pacifica people with being in Wikipedia because they had no article in, in my performing arts kind of hat. I wanted to put their article in there. Um, so they were okay with it and I started their art article. Um, they put me in, in touch with Leilani Seo, a DJ and events manager who, was working at, who works at Wellington Museum. So the goals of the project, um, to increase content about Pacifica artists in Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata, and to introduce Wikipedia and editing skills to Pacifica artists, writers and researchers. So it was about the editing skills but also about what Wikipedia is. Um, the framework of learning was a target of achievements. So for example, the editors um, were asked to create five new good quality C-class Wikipedia articles. I also included, included the metric of at least 50% women or non-binary slash gender fluid. There were also targets for fixing problems in articles, um, targets for uploading images to Wikimedia Commons, and targets for creating new wiki data items. I wanted the learning to be broad and introductory, and also with enough repetition to embed some of the technical things that you learn. 
I thought about I thought about my way of learning across different areas over the past three years, two years. Uh, so this Pacifica Arts project ha had um, the new editors being paid for their time to edit and learn. This fast, I sort of was thinking this fast tracked the interest and commitment to the project and removed barriers such as people needing to pay their living expenses and working. Um, I had also learned from the Performing Arts Wiki project that identifying and encouraging new e editors did not easily occur through editathons. Uh, I knew to attract potential editors from a Māori or Pacifica background, building relationships with them was really critical. Um, so I had sort of considered meeting and talking to key people to explain the type of person that might be interested, identify and meet some of these people, build relationships, encourage them to volunteer to try Wikipedia, and then I thought about how time consuming this would be as a volunteer myself. So um, time is also required to follow up with emerging new editors as they encounter the layers of guidelines, encyclopedic writing style and the often hostile, hostile environment that new editors face, especially when writing biographies about living people of colour. So this process was bypassed by introducing the incentive of being paid to learn and then I was there to kind of help Work, people work through the different areas that they needed repeated sort of coaching on. Um, in the project, there was outreach targets to speak with others in their circles about Wikipedia. Creative New Zealand also added a payment contribution for a tala noa, or conversation with artists, as part of the project, so people didn't have to um, freely give their time. I, knew, I know that contact with the subject of articles isn't a usual, expected or needed thing in Wikipedia, but it was part of this project as an option and ended up being quite central to the experiences. Um, <coughs> how the project went versus how I thought the project would go. My expectations of what people could achieve was too high. I hadn't really factored in time to encounter the concepts of Wikipedia. Uh, I observed a great deal of care and respect for the people that um, they wrote about, the subjects of the articles. Um, the lack of reference material between what they knew to be the story and what they could cite was really hard. It was hard for them to create content, but it was also really hard to encounter. Um, I also learned that wiki data isn't for everyone. Um, I knew creating a community of learners would be a positive outcome, but COVID and the three schedules of the different people meant this didn't really happen in the way that I envisaged. I sort of thought that our first meeting would be like we would have lunch together and get to know each other a little bit, but it, it almost exclusively went online um, and we didn't have much connection with Creative New Zealand and the Pacifica Arts team. Um, and that was quite a lot to do with COVID. Uh, I think we only had one Zoom meeting that everyone attended and even then one person left early and one person had joined late. So the community between us four um, and the project wasn't built much and the teaching coaching was mostly one-on-one. -on -one. After the project finished, Kasi, Leilani and Sophia haven't really continued editing Wikipedia. So I was very curious about whether people would or not um, when the payment stopped. <coughs> um, however, they all want to, they all like it. Um, they're not too put off by Wikipedia, um, but, but really they don't want to edit isolated by themselves. So more events are needed. Um, yeah, that's me. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Round of applause for Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if you've realised, but in front of you there are handouts that are going to talk a little bit more in depth about the concepts that I've used as my research methodologies to navigate Wikipedia. <clears throat> so grab one <laughs> and, and have a good read. <clears throat> monu, monu, monu tangaloa, hake kepu he langi liko liko, hifu kipu he lalo funua. Uh, ko aone ko Sofia amore si ale tu he leli fa kikini ne fa ka hingo e he tau matua tu puna fa fini haako mai tahiti nuwe mo amore he mai he matua tu puna fa fini mai Italian Hungarian fa ka oe ke he atua he langi si fa ka oe foki ki he mutu ki he nei ko New Zealand ni fa ka oe foki ki he mutu nei ko Australia. 
mau moto koe to pufuka ne faka aka mai he tau pulutu mai he moto lo osine okay warm moana greetings to you all Thank you for this privilege to be stood before you here all today. And to those who are joining us online, it is an honour and a delight. <clears throat> Just as Lisa said, I too give thanks to the land that I am a visitor to and that I now stand on and the ancestors, treating this land with the respect that I have for my own whenua back home in New Zealand. Okay, my name is Sophia Amore Siale Tuhi Lelifa Kukini. It is long but strong. Name built from both sides of the Mangafoa, which means family. I am a New Zealand born Uean. My mother is Uean and Tahitian. My father is Maori, Italian, and Hungarian. Weird. <laughs> a little bit about myself I am from Wellington residing in a small suburban area called Cannons Creek, a small but large community populated mainly by Pacifica. Despite the smallness, there are seven different churches, three schools and one college. Uh, okay, I must say the best time to visit us was on a Sunday. Because of the many churches, the sound of our ancestors fill the air as the choirs sing. The sounds are so profound. You would usually see those in their best dress. On white Sundays, you would even get taken back by the purest sea of white. I am an artist from humble beginnings, brought up on the practice on Anga Whaka New Way. Anga Whaka New Way. The new way, way of life as a third generation. <clears throat> As you can see, I come from a large family. This meant Sunday roasts were hectic. I grew up with my grandfather that taught us grandkids practical life skills, where grandpa would sit by the piano in the sitting room, watching us kids get our bedding ready, arguing, pushing, shoving, laughing, telling us all specifically, go to bed. <laughs> then proceeding to wake us up three hours later at the crack of dawn to go fishing. Those were the days. By the age of six, all grandkids could catch a fish with four different ways. With a rod and line, an old stick and string, with mussels, and with day old chop suey potatoes and pasta. Grandma would keep me by her side making whaikai, takihi, pitako, and doing the umu. Along with many other customary dishes, where attending church every day was never challenged, as I saw it a part of whakaka whakanue. <sighs> After my grandfather passed away in 2010, I made the decision to move in with my grandmother to support her while continuing my education. It was a no-brainer. I stayed here through four years of study at the Fine Arts for Fine Arts at Mass University Wellington. Because of this, Anga Faka Niwe no longer became a practice of life, or no longer became a practice but a way of life, a way of living. Grandma and her way of being became the inspiration for the work and the projects I took on. Doing things of Anga Whaka New Year became my research methodology during study. <clears throat> 2020 to 2021, I applied and was selected for the Tautai Oceanic Internship Program through the Tautai Pacific Arts Trust located in Auckland, New Zealand, funded by the Creative New Zealand for aspiring young professional artists helping them with the development of the inner logistics of gallery-operated spaces, being able to transfer that to my community to provide more dialogue in mainstream spaces. From this program, I was able to be introduced to Makarita Hurali, Senior Manager of Pacific Arts Creative New Zealand. Through the Tautai program, Makarita became another mentor, an example to myself along with Ioana Gordon-Smith, Harris, Vanessa Krosky, Etna Talapa, Claire Harris and Sonia Withers, strong and dependent wahine in, wa in Aotearoa. <clears throat> Margarita and I conversed one day mentioning Lisa and a Wikipedia pilot program. She went on to explain briefly about a gap within Wikipedia. That gap was for Pacifica and Mana Moana artists. It made me feel a range of emotion. I knew this pilot program was for me. My grandmother would say, Ua tala noa, which means don't speak stupid words. <laughs> I used to giggle at this. With the deeper context and analysis and asking my grandmother what this actually meant, she said, it's a lesson. A lesson in knowing how words can be wielded, how text can change in an instant and can be misconstrued. Each word we use is weighted 
to remember that in our words we wield are the weapons that can save or sell us out. <clears throat> the importance of finding where I stood as a Pacifica editor on Wikipedia was just as important to me as my own identity. Knowing where I stand, knowing the place, my positionality, and then my responsibilities. <clears throat> I'm unsure if Kasivalu or Leilani had previous knowledge of Wikipedia before this pilot program, but I knew nothing. <laughs> Read links, citations, notability, Wikidata, complete jargon. <laughs> Took me a solid week to nail down citations, but I was quick to realize how they would soon turn, my, and turn into my worst enemy. I do recall Lisa asking Lisa a lot of hard questions once on Zoom. Sorry, Lisa. Before Lisa and I had our weekly catch-ups, I had just finished a discussion with my grandmother about the concept of notability on Wikipedia, something at the time I had just learnt myself. <clears throat> Grandma had given me a list of new wear artists back in her time of the 1940s. She proceeds to tell me the narratives of these artists. I got excited until I clicked notability. Are they notable? Surely. My follow-up questions were, what did they do, Grandma? What awards did they win? What were they a part of? Give me something. <laughs> I could feel her tense up. She quickly said, yes, they're notable. Notable to me. Your aunties, your families, your family families, your family 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 family. family. <laughs> we are talking of our people from nowhere. My people, the people I grew up with. Is that not notable enough? I agreed. I created drafts in honour of them on my Word documents. If I had it my way, I'll write it up in a jiffy. In this instance, my grandmother had so much information to offer, it was unfortunate that there, was, there were a lack of web pages to support her and her knowledge. Nuer, along with other Pacifica, our histories are passed down through word of mouth, oral traditions as opposed to written tradition. Wikipedia caters to the written tradition, not the oral. This made it hard when we had to capture information, but then realised the credibility was not there. This was often seen in the articles. <clears throat> <clears throat> this journey would take me on the venture of me seeking to find similarities and differences between Wikipedia and the Pacifica way of doing things. Recognising the differences of how uh, and how Pacifica artists present themselves became apparent. It is not just them that you make, oh, sorry, it's not just them they will make reference to. It's their whānau, family. It's their references to their tipuna, their community, their whakapapa, their genealogy. They are bringing their whole positionality into the space. So making sure that Wikipedia catered to this was important for myself to capture because that there was my reason to why and my motivation. <clears throat> I knew I could find articles if I worked harder to use. Um, I want to use Wikipedia as an international platform that can help the artists themselves and their communities. Kasi Leilani and myself noticed the certain repetitive waves. Either there is not enough different information on our artists, so the articles become rather monotone, robotic, cut and paste. No matter how many times we try to rewrite it, it did not cater to their whakapapa, to their whenua, or to their whānau. The positionality they brought was then gone. <clears throat> the information that is sourced is repetitive. Both of these things do not equal an article that we were happy with. It equaled an article that is not recognised, uh, that did not recognise the Pacifica artist and their positionality as a whole. This was challenging. This showed us down. Uh, this slowed us down. It meant that in order to, to keep going forward, we had to take two steps back. This also meant that we had to forget about the set goals in the pilot program and focus on the artist and work with them. For us, fostering the relationship was more important. This is where the concept of tala noa comes into play. But we did, or, but we all, sorry, but we all did express and feel that time pressure. It made, oh, that through time pressure, it made us look at the development of an article as data. It was just about getting something out there forgetting that they are, they are human. Time took their narrative away if, they weren't, uh, if we weren't careful. As soon as we felt this coming on, it was, a it was natural to choose the artist first. 
luckily Lisa understood. Talanoa recognizes that there is a life or that there's that they are oh, sorry, recognizes that there's a life form of the people that we engage with. It honors their narrative, their positionality, and how important that is for the outcome of these specific Wikipedia pages. I had the privilege of being able to Talanoa with Cora Allen Wycliffe, who is now Cora Allen, Allen Lafiki Twisk. Congratulations connecting over the customary art of te vai vai, an art form we both practice. This practice derived from the colonization missionary settler wives who would teach the craft of sewing and other needle and thread techniques as a way to keep women at home doing all the house chores and not out at sea. Um, the Pacifica woman then took this custom and made this our own, creating te vai vai, a hand sewn quilt as our narrative and our reclamation. <clears throat> Talanoa means to hold conversation. It means to foster relationships by creating safe spaces where we honour differences and accept ch changes with an outcome. It means to cut down hierarchy where, we, where when we talk, it is us, not you and me. It means face to face. This was then another challenge as because this pilot program fell on hard times such as COVID, sometimes the face to face Talanoa was not there. Kasi Leilani and I both expressed how this challenged our time management, our way to balance our life obligations and the obligations we promised to this pilot program. We would like to acknowledge the VA. What is VA? The VA is our past, present and future. As much as we might want to define the VA, it certainly defines us. It does not appear as a physical form. It is never vacant. The VA connects us all through our relationships as a space that always already exists, whether we think about it or not. And even when we feel disconnected, it appears most strongly when we meet and practice our customs. <clears throat> the VA within Wikipedia was brought out through this pilot program, through the practice of Talanoa, through the relationships built, through the narratives told, it uncovered how much this was needed and magnified a starting point to where we can now progress. It defined our positionality. This pilot program was successful to me, where Lisa Kasivalu, Leilani and I have cut ways for now the future Pacifica pilot programs and the new possibilities. I just had a few, um, just a few things to say about the kind of next steps. So um, there are quite a few future potential projects. Leilani and I are talking about using a Wikipedia event um, to promote a Pacifica presence in Wellington, tying in with the museum that she works at. Um, Sophia and I both independently are trying to figure out how to get some more images up. So I'm working with Creative New Zealand and their collection, and Sophia's been approaching artists about images, just their faces is what we're after in the first instance, um, because we both recognise that the visibility makes so much difference. Um, Cassie and so Sophia are quite motivated to get galleries and other places to create some of the missing information so that it can be cited. So there's, I think that's kind of a research project in its own. And, um, and Cassie and Sophia have also talked about from this pilot project experience that they want to guide and teach others, other than the Pacifica community, about Wikipedia and to do Wikipedia, and maybe the image thing will be a good start. Um, but also first having a really good conversation and discussion about the purpose and the difficulties to have Talanoa and talk about the VA. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. And so relevant to so many here, working with different cultures, oral cultures, how to use the platform differently to mm. extend it instead of this way that we have focused on it. Absolutely fascinating. Any questions? Mike. Give Mike the mic. Uh, kia ora korowa. that was just wonderful. And I was sitting there thinking of every thing you were saying, particularly Sophia, how different this is from our traditional way of tackling Wikipedia and made me realise how many assumptions we have about who edits, how we edit, 
what we focus on, the importance of face-to-face, -face, the importance of social events, the importance of stating one's own background uh, when approaching Wikipedia, because many of us uh, and Wikipedians th seem to be like robots who don't exist outside of our edits, and that's so not true. Um, uh, I do think, that, yes, you, it was very ambitious and brave to tackle such a, a subject like biographies of living people of colour, artists, all these red flags for people who want to um, challenge or take down articles. It was going in at the deep end. But I was just looking at the article, I quickly looked up to Vai Vai and found out there's a, it's a very short and not very good article mm -hmm. in English and, and in only three languages as well, one of them Lithuanian. Um, so it seems like there might be a middle ground where there are things, important concepts in, uh, in Pacific culture that are so badly treated in Wikipedia, but which there, for which there are many, many published independent sources mm -hmm. that might be a good way to coax people in to editing mm -hmm. and something that won't be challenged and that everyone can relate to. Um, is, is, that the sort of, is that an approach you'd consider taking as part of the next step, is to pick more neutral topics, at least for beginners? Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, Lisa and I were struggling to get our speeches done uh, down to 10 minutes each, and obviously that wasn't the case. And even then we were missing out a lot. One of that being the subject that you brought up, the red links, such as T-Vai-Vai. Oh. <laughs> The whirlwinds that we would go in, uh, majority of our time spent would be on clicking on these red links and magnifying what was missing, and that just added to our, um, uh, how do you say, uh, added to our depression, <laughs> added to our anxiety. <laughs> um, there's so much to do, and there's so much missing in our Pacifica, our biographies, are the most important and our traditions and our customs. Um, our studying of our biographies is a starting point and we can now look into maybe focusing on Talanoa, focusing on VA. Um, the concept of Talanoa on Wikipedia doesn't really captivate what it's about. Um, there's things that are missing and that's another way that we can look into that can um, hopefully draw people in, so thank you. Yes. Um, uh, talking about oral traditions, you know, it seems a pity perhaps that, well, I don't know, we, we've got the Australian Sound Archive and I don't know whether they have an active program capturing Auntie Whoever and Uncle Whoever, Uncle Brendan, for example, to tell their individual stories because we can reference in Wikipedia stuff that is recorded and, you mm. know, st stored in an archive and so on. And... Um, Given that it's an oral tradition, I'm hoping that you recorded your grandma talking about all these gorgeous people. Yes. Um, because, you know, that could go somewhere and be useful because we can use, I mean, people use mm. Mm. ABC um, videos, you know, as references for articles. Um, mm. So we can use oral stuff, but mm. we're just not capturing it as effectively perhaps as we yeah. need to. That's the thing. Um, thank you for bringing that up. Um, I have asked my grandmother why why don't we um, why don't we record you? She'll be putting on her fake uh, fake white voice. I like to say, and <clears throat> you know, it's not real. It's fake. <laughs> um, so that's their problem there. But also the fact that how many years have our Pacifica been? Um, uh, Miss Schoen on an institutionalized spaces. Um, it it really tarnishes um, when it tarnishes our um, our Pacifica when it's not used correctly. Even though we want to use it correctly, our ancestors and my family still have that um, that kind of space where they don't want to share. There are some things that stay within New Air. There's some things that stay within the Pacific, and then there's some things that we can share. Um, but yeah, thank you. Hopefully one day um, they'll feel a lot comfortable sharing these stories. It'll be very nice to record. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, that was an amazing presentation. You really brought life 
to the projects, to the way knowledge is shared, you, you know, captured how much it is and how difficult it is for Indigenous cultures who rely on those oral stories to actually get that information across. And what um, I've seen and experienced working with those um, on the Noongarpedia project, which was mentioned earlier, um, is that what is notable, the things that we write down in books, awards, dates, you know, um, whatever someone's done at school and learnings and stuff like that, is not what's not really notable about a person. It is the person that's notable. It's the things that they talk about, the remarks they've left behind, their influences, and capturing those is the most difficult thing to do. So I really want to thank you for the way you brought life to this presentation. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, congratulations. Um, Thank you, Paul. I, I myself have a keen interest in indigenous cultures and oral traditions. And I have met a few Wikimedians from Africa who have had their articles taken down because there were no citations. Yes. Because most of the references that they used are from oral traditions. Mm. Uh, I believe that we should be able to find a way to circumvent this problem. Um, perhaps in Wikisource, because we have reached the age of electronic publications. Yes. Perhaps we can author electronic original works, not merely electronic versions of written works. Exactly. But actually new publications mm. published in Wikisource, and we can use those from Wikisource as citations in the encyclopedia. Exactly. I believe this is one way. I, I don't know. I, I could be limited in my in my imagination, oh, oh, but never. I believe that uh, we, we should be able to find out how to get about this problem. Yeah, absolutely. I guess this project was about finding the positionality on where we stand first. And now that we have, that's definitely something that we can take into account. Thank you. Um, thank you for your words of expression. It's very kind. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.